Ladies and gentlemen, ChatGPT just came out with an upgrade. GPT-01. And to be honest, it's really not that much of an upgrade. I'm not impressed. It's really not doing much more for us. Let me show you. The model improvements are, it uses a chain of thought for human-like problem solving. And I'll show you an example where it goes through its thought process before it gives you the answer. Uh, it solves 83% of the math of math Olympiad problems versus GPT 40s 13%. If anything, this is the only real improvement is that it's better in math. If uh, you've tried GPT and you've asked it to do simple math problems, you probably have realized that GPT is not all that good with numbers because these LLMs are trained on text. They're not trained on numbers. Uh, 01 is an improvement in that category and i would say that's probably its only improvement uh, there's two versions there's 01 preview and 01 mini so 01 mini is a little bit quicker and it's for the premium and team users if you have a free version you're not going to see this you're not going to have a chance to try it this has phd level reasoning and here's an example. So you would go to ChatGPT 4.0, you press 01 Preview, and there's the 01 Mini. I'm going to choose 01 Preview, and I'm going to give it a little test. Can you explain how compound interest works and why it grows faster than simple interest over time? So as you can see, it's thinking, and uh, there's the thought process. It's going through the, the thought process before it even begins to answer the question. Now it begins to answer the question and uh, supposedly gives you just a little bit more of a uh, better explanation. But, you know, if I go back to GPT-4.0 and I ask the same question, you'll see that it um, answers it more quickly. It's not going through that thought process uh, that we saw with 01. And it really is coming out with the same answer. So, you know, if there's a certain mathematical equation then you might want to try 01. Otherwise, it's really not going to make a difference in how the average person is using it. And once again, it's overpromise and underdeliver. I mean, the overpromise, let me give you some of the examples. When my GPTs came out in late 2023, they said that there was going to be a my GPT store with revenue sharing by spring of 2024. So the idea there was that you can create your own MyGBT chatbots and the chatbots that would be used the most revenue would be shared from OpenAI to the user because they're obviously adding value. Uh, that never happened. We haven't seen any kind of revenue sharing. Uh, also, this one, I was really looking forward to this one, Sora text to video. It was featured January 2024. They made us believe that it was coming out soon. Remember what that was? I mean, they were showing us this incredible text to video. Like we'd never seen anything like this before. And it was uh really exciting. I know I was looking forward to using this. But of course, they featured it, and then they kept on pushing it out, and we still haven't seen Sora. Sorry. Maybe that's what they should have called it, sorry, instead of Sora. Um, and then there's also the advanced voice features. This, this came out in May 2024. They promised that we were going to see these voice advanced voice features and real-time eyes in weeks. Remember this? Let me show you a couple examples of that. Hey, ChatGPT. I'm here with my coworker today. Um, we'd like you to act as our translator for us. So every time I say something in English, can you repeat it back in Spanish? And every time he says something in Spanish, can you repeat it back in English? Sure, I can do that. Let's get this translation train rolling. Um, hey, how's it been going? Have you been up to anything interesting recently? Um, hola, ¿cómo te ha ido? ¿Has hecho algo interesante últimamente? Hola, bien. Uh, sí, un poco ocupado aquí preparando un evento para la semana que viene. Hey, 
I've been good. Just a bit busy here preparing for an event next week. Can you tell me anything about it? That sounds really interesting. ¿Me puedes contar algo sobre eso? Suena realmente interesante. Ah, uh, no, no puedo decir mucho, pero creo que el resto del mundo lo verá dentro de poco. I can't say much, but I think the rest of the world will see it soon enough. Oh, well, I can't wait to see what it is as well. So there's real-time translation, real-time advanced voice. Also, that voice it sounds a lot like Scarlett Johansson. We don't get that voice either because Scarlett Johansson sued OpenAI and uh, OpenAI took that voice off. So um, here's another example of just real-time eyes that we were going to see. This is Bowen. And this is my friend, Jordan. Can you guess what we are doing here? Hey, Bowen and Jordan. Hmm, let me guess. With that cake and candle there, it looks like someone's having a birthday. Are you celebrating a special day or just finding an excuse to eat cake? Either way, I'm intrigued. That's correct. Today is my friend Jordan's birthday. Yeah, you got it. I was hoping that you could sing me the birthday song. Of course. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jordan. Happy birthday to Jordan. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Don't forget. Oh, that was so great. Thank you so much. Thank I'm going to make a wish. You're welcome. Make a good wish and may it come true. Again, we haven't seen that yet. I'm still looking forward to it, but that was supposed to be rolled out right after they released it in May. Still haven't seen it. Overpromise, underdeliver. Here's part of the reason why I think they're having some of these uh, issues with under delivery. OpenAI could lose five billion dollars this year and run out of cash in 12 months. So ChatGPT maker reportedly spending seven billion dollars on AI testing. It's very expensive. They're bringing in two billion dollars. They're spending seven billion dollars. They're losing somewhere around $5 billion in a 12-month period. But don't worry, they're not going to run out of money because OpenAI's valuation is now $150 billion. They're raising money right now at a $150 billion valuation. There's plenty of uh, in interested parties that want to invest, so they will have the money. Now, hopefully that's going to allow them to uh, get us all those features that they promised us because I, I really am getting tired of them promising features and us never seeing them. Uh, the MyGPT store, still no revenue sharing and nobody's even talking about it anymore. They never gave us an update. I don't think we're going to see any kind of revenue sharing for the MyGPT store. Sora, now believed to be released somewhere in late 2024 but they don't really have a number. Yes, there's other generative AI. There's Runway, which is a really good text-to-video. Luma AI, also another good text-to-video. So there's other competitors that are catching up or passing uh, what Sora was. So hopefully we'll see it soon. And then lastly, advanced voice features to be fully released by the end of fall. They came out with this uh, post on X where... A, a, this was uh, July 30th of 2024 that they were finally starting to roll out the advanced features to a small group of ChatGPT Plus users. Most haven't seen it yet. Who knows when we're going to get it? And to be honest, this upgrade, really what this is, is them just trying to keep up with Claude. If anything, Claude is the one that's under-promising and over-delivering. Uh, so much so that I purchased a Claude Pro account, a premium account, because I'm using it that much. Also, I want to share with you an AI feature, generative AI features comparison list on uh, the competitors for ChatGPT. I think it's important that you uh, start using more of these competitors and see what they have to offer. I highly recommend Claude. I use Perplexity all the time. I find myself using Gemini more. Uh, Google's Gemini, I have Copilot, I have Llama. I use Grok as well. Uh, X is Grok, but that's uh, only a paid version. So 
I didn't put that on the list, but I highly recommend that you use it. Again, the ChatGPT-01 upgrade, it's really not much of an upgrade. Grade. To be honest, I'd, I'd rather stop getting these upgrades and OpenAI spend the time on giving us the features that you promised us months ago. I'd love to hear what you think about that.